Have you ever wondered about the power behind the armored force, the engine of a tank? What might be the driving force that propels these massive machines on the battlefield? How does a tank engine differ from the engine in your car? And just how complex can the mechanics of a tank engine be? These are questions that may have crossed your mind, or maybe they're newly forming as we speak. Either way, curiosity is the fuel to knowledge. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of tank engines. Welcome to the world of tank engines, the powerhouse of the armored giants. These engines, often overlooked, are the heart and soul of these metallic beasts, propelling them into action. The tank engine, much like any engine, serves a vital purpose. To convert fuel into kinetic energy, driving the tank forward, backward, and even rotate in place. The journey of tank engines is a tale of evolution and innovation. The first tank engines, used in World War I, were adaptations of existing tractor engines, simple in design but effective for their time. As technology progressed, so did the complexity and efficiency of these engines. Today's tank engines are marvels of engineering, providing immense power in a compact package capable of powering machines weighing several dozen tons. From the humble tractor engine to the sophisticated powerhouses we see today, tank engines have come a long way. Now that we've set the stage, it's time to dive into the mechanics of these engines. The engine is the heart of a tank, supplying the power needed for every action. This powerhouse is a complex machine, meticulously designed and crafted with numerous parts working in perfect harmony. Let's delve into the details. Primarily, the engine is composed of several cylinders. Each cylinder is like a small combustion chamber where the magic happens. Fuel and air mix here, ignite, and the resulting explosion pushes a piston. It's this piston movement that ultimately drives the tank forward. Speaking of pistons, these are robust metal plugs that slide up and down within the cylinders. When the fuel-air mixture inside a cylinder explodes, it's the piston that bears the brunt of the force. This force is then converted into a linear motion, which is a fancy way of saying that the piston moves up and down. Now you might be wondering how this up and down motion of the pistons helps to move a massive tank. This is where the crankshaft comes into play. The linear motion of the pistons is transferred to the crankshaft, which then converts it into a rotational motion. Think of the crankshaft as the engine's personal magician, turning one type of movement into another. This rotational motion is what spins the tank's tracks, propelling it forward or backward. But all this action generates a lot of heat. If not managed, this heat could spell disaster for the engine. Enter the cooling system, the unsung hero of the engine. It keeps the engine's temperature in check, preventing it from overheating and ensuring it runs smoothly. It's like the engine's personal air conditioning system, always working in the background, never asking for applause. These are just a few of the major components of a tank engine. Each one plays a specific role in the grand scheme of things. Like a well-practiced orchestra, they work together in perfect harmony to create the power needed to propel a tank. And just like an orchestra, every part is essential. With the knowledge of these components, understanding the working of a tank engine becomes a lot easier. Now, you're one step closer to comprehending the marvel of engineering that is a tank engine. Now let's put these parts into action and see how a tank engine works. The heart of any tank engine is the combustion process, where fuel meets spark to create power. This is not an ordinary combustion process, mind you, but a carefully orchestrated dance of precision and timing. In a tank engine, fuel is pumped from the tank into the engine's cylinders. Here, it mixes with air drawn in through the air intake. This mixture of fuel and air is then compressed by the piston. The spark plug ignites this compressed mixture, causing it to explode. This explosion pushes the piston down, creating a force that turns the engine's crankshaft. But what about the role of each component in this process? Well, each part plays a critical role in ensuring the engine runs smoothly. The pistons, for instance, are responsible for compressing the fuel-air mixture and transmitting the force of the explosion to the crankshaft. The crankshaft, on the other hand, converts this linear motion into rotational motion, which is used to drive the tank's tracks. The engine's valves play a crucial part, too. The intake valve allows air to enter the cylinder, while the exhaust valve releases the burnt gases after combustion. The timing of these valves opening and closing is critical to ensure the engine runs efficiently. Next in line is the camshaft. The camshaft is responsible for controlling when the valves open and close. It does this through a series of lobes or cams that push against the valves at precise moments during the engine's cycle. Let's not forget the spark plug. 
This small but mighty component ignites the fuel-air mixture at just the right moment, causing the explosion that powers the engine. Lastly, we have the fuel injection system. This system is responsible for delivering the right amount of fuel to the cylinders at the right time. It uses a series of sensors to monitor conditions like engine speed and load, adjusting the amount of fuel delivered accordingly. So to put it all together, the fuel injection system delivers fuel to the cylinders. The pistons compress this fuel, and the spark plug ignites it. The explosion forces the piston down, turning the crankshaft and driving the tank forward. As this happens, the camshaft controls the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves, ensuring the engine runs smoothly and efficiently. And there you have it, the process that powers every move a tank makes on the battlefield. So, we've journeyed through the engine of a tank, but why is this important? Well, let's wind back the clock and remind ourselves of the journey we've been on. We started by introducing the concept of a tank engine, a powerhouse designed to propel a massive armored vehicle across varied terrains. We dived into the engine's anatomy, exploring its components like the combustion chamber, the pistons, the crankshaft, and the fuel system, each playing a vital role in the engine's operation. Then we moved on to mechanics, delving into the intricate processes that make a tank engine tick. The fuel and air mixture's combustion, the piston's movement, the conversion of linear motion into rotational motion by the crankshaft, and the exhaust of waste gases. All these processes happening in a synchronized manner, ensuring the tank's smooth operation. But why is understanding all this significant? The answer lies in the role of tank engines in the efficiency and effectiveness of tanks. A well-functioning engine allows a tank to maneuver swiftly and smoothly, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. It's not just about the firepower, it's also about the mobility and the ability to adapt to different terrains and situations. Moreover, the knowledge of tank engines isn't just useful for military purposes, it gives us a broader understanding of how engines work. The principles used in a tank engine are similar to those used in many other types of engines. Thus, understanding a tank engine can help us appreciate and comprehend the workings of engines in general. The world of tank engines is a fascinating one. It's a world of power, precision, and engineering marvel. It's a world that showcases the pinnacle of human ingenuity and technological advancement. It's a world that reminds us of the power of knowledge and the importance of understanding how things work. Next time you see a tank in action, remember the engine, the heart that powers the armored giant. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? From the very basics of what constitutes a tank engine to the intricate details of its mechanics, we've journeyed through the heart of these mechanical beasts. We've seen how every part, no matter how small, plays a vital role in the functioning of the whole. In our exploration, we've come to understand the engine as the lifeblood of a tank, the source of its power and mobility. We've delved into the mechanics, examining the importance of each component, from the cylinders and the pistons, to the fuel system and the cooling mechanisms. We've seen how these parts work together in harmony, creating a symphony of power and precision that propels these massive machines forward. We also touched upon the significance of these engines in the grand scheme of things. More than just a marvel of engineering, they are a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge and advancement. They are a symbol of our ability to conquer challenges and adapt to an ever-changing world. And so, as we wrap up, remember, every journey starts with a single step. Today, we took that step into understanding the world of tank engines. But the road of knowledge is long and winding. There's always more to learn, more to discover. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the engine of a tank. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.